So today I'm going to be showing you how uh, we can do some smoothing of our geometries when we create a vector that maybe has a little bit of an angle or you know doesn't look so smooth. Uh, we can do this with polygons and we can also do this with lines. So I'm going to first show you with a polygon. Uh, this is just a random island that I really quickly made this polygon for. And we can easily come up to our processing toolbox. And we're just going to search for smooth. And we're going to look for smooth geometry. Okay, make sure that you've chosen the correct shape file. If you have multiple shape files in your layers panel, uh, it's just going to choose one for you, and it may not actually be the one that you want to work with. So uh, make sure that you select the one that you want to smooth. Iterations means how many times it's going to go through and smooth it. Um, one time is generally going to be enough for uh, what you need to do. And don't worry so much about the offset either. Uh, it's going to automatically create a temporary layer for you. And we're going to go ahead and do that this way on a, with the polygon. And then with the line, I'll show you how you can uh, create a permanent layer uh, through this. Okay, so And make sure you have this checked so that it um, shows up the layer on your project right away and you don't have to go and find it. Right, so we just click Run. I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit. Let's change the color so we can see that a bit better. Okay, so if we zoom in here, we can see that it's we can see that it's uh, smoothed out these corners a little bit. It's still not perfect, right? But it looks a whole lot better than it did before, right? So that's that's how we do that with a polygon. And what I'm going to recommend to you is this: is, since this is only a temporary layer, uh, definitely make sure you right click and go down and choose Save As. Make sure it's format as an ESRI shapefile. We're going to browse and just um, save that somewhere where we know that we can find it again. Uh, so let's put this... Well, sure, we can just throw this in here for now. Um, okay, great, excellent. And we're going to click OK. And it'll automatically save it as a new layer. So we can actually go ahead and we can remove both of these old ones um, and we're just left with our nicer smoother layer All right great so how do we do this with a line vector so I'm just gonna create a new line vector really quickly it doesn't need to be anything terribly special and this is gonna be Tiumon line vector We'll just right clicking to finish. Okay, and there's our line. Um, intentionally got some pretty good uh, corners in there. Not going to look super great. Uh, so we'll save that as it is. And I can do the same thing. I can go up to processing toolbox. Uh, it should actually, in recently used algorithms, it should show the ones that you've recently used. So I'm going to choose Smooth Geometry. And like I told you, we need to make sure that we choose the correct layer, because right now it's still loaded on Tiumon Island. Uh, so I want to make sure that I choose this one, the line, because that's what I want to be working with. All right. And instead of having it create a temporary layer, let's go ahead and let's save this. So it'll automatically create this as a saved file this time, instead of a temporary file that then we have to save later click run and you can see a big difference in the way that it looks still a little bit angled all right and so maybe what we want to do is maybe we want to go in and uh, let's let's do this a little bit differently let's do a couple of iterations maybe three all right so let's run that okay this is our original Okay, very angled. Our second one, less angled, right? And then our third one is even less angled, right? It's even smoother. Right? So the number of iterations allows it to become smoother and smoother. Right? So the smoother you want it to be, 
choose more iterations, uh, more than one. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't bother typing in a really large number. Um, you know, three, four is probably plenty for it to get you something nice and smooth. But this allows you to have much smoother geometries so that your your lines look nicer, your polygons look nicer. Uh, it just it's just more aesthetic and will make your final maps look that much better.